Okay, so welcome. This is Amanda Dumas. I am um, going to be hosting a lesson that I'm calling um, Kids Essentials. I would like to share my screen for just a moment, but I'm having trouble. Let me see if I can do this. Um, mm -hmm. Will I be able to? Yep, looks like I can. Okay, so. Um, my name is Amanda, as I said. This is my, my three littlest. I'm mother of five, but these are my adorable, um, the, the, I call them my, yeah, my littles. So, um, Aria just turned nine, Marcus is six, Malachi is four, and all of them are very skilled, um, essential oil users. Sometimes that just involves them putting their feet up for me to put essential oils on them. But, um, especially my little honey bunny, Aria, she is starting to get very skilled and very empowered with using her essential oils. I know you would probably like to know more about that. So I would love to tell you more. Um, to start with, I have to definitely say part of the whole thing about um, essential oils is choosing um, a company that really does their due diligence to keep things pure, to keep things over the top, transparently um, high quality. Uh, so this would be different than just saying that you're just like doTERRA or that you, you know, do certain tests just like, you know, and then name some company. When you are that company, that that's when you're held to the very highest standard. Um, and uh, doTERRA is no different. Part of the things that I love so much um, is that when they when they uh, get the essential oils from their indigenous environments, they're very uh, family oriented in choosing where they source from. Very sustainable. They're looking to be able to help specifically moms be able to keep their kiddos in school um, and things like that. And uh, it's very different from what is typically out there when you're looking for um, third party brokers in the perfume industry and things like that. So, um, so I like, uh, I like what they call the co-impact sourcing. I could talk a long time about it. Um, in fact, when I did this um, as a live event at my home just a few days ago, um, I, I did kind of wax eloquent and tell stories in, in kids speak about, uh, about how those, um, how those families globally, um, kids are impacted by being able to have the best choice of, uh, um, of the doTERRA essential oils method. So that whole CPTG, Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, is, um, is a, a rating that um, makes, makes sure that there are zero fillers, no synthetics, dyes, pesticides, or contaminants of any kind. Um, that's really important, but uh, it's not okay to just be pure. You also have to be potent as well, and that's that's why I feel like doTERRA does great. Um, I also love that doTERRA is super, super into uh, giving back, and so the Healing Hands Foundation um, is another thing that I would suggest y'all um, Google uh, doTERRA Healing Hands and see what kind of videos pop up that are going to make you cry. Okay, so um, on to some info. Uh, I would say that um, when you're when you're talking about kiddos, they're always going to be attracted to being able to learn more things. They're always very curious, and um, if you are able to uh, to teach them how to be empowered with essential oils while they're young, um, I can tell you just it's it's really surprising how just over the past. Um, Oh, about three years or so, uh, my Aria, who's now nine, when uh, when you know three years ago when she was just six and she had a brand new, um, you know, a baby brother, um, she instinctively was looking for ways to uh, help his tummy feel better. If I said his tummy wasn't feeling good or whatever it was, and um, so kids do they often they want to help, they want to know how to do stuff, and so this would be a good. Um, webinar for them to be able to, to watch with you if you'd like. Um, I, again, when I, uh, a few nights ago, 
when I was actually staring at those um, sweet kiddos who are uh, around the table. Um, it's it was a, a, just a beautiful experience because uh, you do get people who um, you know kids who want to jump in and uh, be seen and be heard and make their opinion matter and things like that. Um, I'm actually gonna um, stop sharing for just a second to show you guys the sweetest pic that I got. I hope we can see this. Um, this was a couple of the kids. These were the ones who, who stayed um, to, to finish making their little projects. So um, and when speaking with them specifically, um, they, they all had a very clear idea. Like, for example, when I asked them, what's, um, what's something that you get worried about when you are, hmm, okay, the next section, there'll be no problem since this is actually recording. What's a problem that you actually worry about? And um, many of them like had things. They're like, oh, I, I can't sleep very well sometimes, or um, I get uh, I get worried about my grades in school. You know, they they know things. I mean, they didn't say that they worried about getting sick, um, which of course that's what moms do, <laughs> right? But but they had things that they were interested in. Um, the idea of being alert and having um, just you know energy to be able to do stuff. And of course, they want fun things like being able to. Um, um, you know, eat delicious foods and, and stuff like that. And so doTERRA can work in, in many, many of those ways. Um, so whether it's uh, riding bikes uh, or, um, you know, playing tag or things like that, there's there's a lot of ways that kids get sweaty. <laughs> and uh, all of us know, uh, you know, drinking water is a huge, huge deal. Um, I have to put a little plug in for it. You guys see here the, um, the wild orange uh, water bottle uh, next to the water bottle. Um, my, my family keeps this handy, like, pretty much all the time because uh, we it's a, a stainless steel you can also do glass and um, when you just put a, a one drop of essential oil into the water bottle it does not add any sweets it doesn't add calories it doesn't add uh, nutrition even but it is super super healthy for what it does to kiddos um, cells and helping them to rehydrate plus it really does make them drink more which is uh, one of the big things that, that we need our kids to do to be healthy so um, I, I have a couple things that I would say aside from, you know, the normal, you know, drinking water and being able to kind of um, cut down on sugar. What, what things are big for being able um, to keep our kiddos healthy? Some of the things you might be surprised by, um, I'm actually, I guess I have to come back here and do a stop share again. Okay, so... Um, I don't know if you guys have been in on all of the um, uh, scare and like taking everything with triclosan off of the market when you're talking about hand sanitizers and, and things like that. They often are putting um, some really bad chemicals into our um, hand soaps that we get just going out to restaurants and things like that. And uh, some of the restrictions are becoming more strict because of that. Um, I really like that doTERRA has a super easy um, hand spray that you can do um, for, you know, taking your kids shopping or um, right before they um, eat lunch and things like that. And um, I like, I like how easy it is. And it's the kind of thing where, um, you know, this, uh, the doTERRA on guard is, um, if you guys want to Google that also about, um, science experiments with doTERRA on guard, there's some really cute kids experiments that they've done to be able to test how it compares to bleach in terms of killing, um, bacteria and things like that. So, um, I won't tell you all the details, but I can tell you, um, start looking there. It'd be a fun, a fun one if you guys are into, um, science experiments. Um, the other thing I want to tell you guys about on guard related that kids love, like I actually had several 
of the kids the night that I had the live events. Um, they wanted to, to try the, uh, the on guard beadlets. And these are fun because um, if, if you're not brave, uh, you can just swallow it as if it were a pill. Um, but the brave people will, will go ahead and take one of these and, um, and let it burst inside their mouth. I know it's the size of a, of a Tic Tac, but it does not have any sugar. Um, and so then even, um, you know, um, even if you're very conscientious about your kiddos' diets, uh, this is not, it's not candy. Um, I also need to mention um, the Breathe Vapor Stick. This one, again, very fun when we're in the class. Um, the kids really enjoyed being able to, you know, pass it around from one kid to another and just do a little swipe. And I often would ask them how they felt after they uh, they got to, um, you know, put that on there. Um, some of them felt felt like their lungs got bigger. I think that was one of the comments that was made that my my lungs got bigger. Um, someone else said um, they didn't feel like they had to cough anymore, you know, sweet little things like that. Um, and those are the kind of things that we want to hear from, um, from our kiddos is that they, they know it's making a difference because then what happens next time they feel like they have to cough? Well, they already know what they can go and get and they know where to get it. And, um, they know, you know, what, what, what those steps are. I also uh, feel like this one's an important one to mention, maybe more for, for the moms of boys, but um, even girls can get super stinky. And uh, if you guys have done any research about aluminum in deodorant, this is one of the things that we really have to watch out for, especially for our girls, those, those lymphatic um, drainage points and things like that, uh, like in the pits, are um, constantly bombarded with uh, some really scary stuff. If you're only giving your kiddos um, the typical industrial kind of deodorants, so you're going to want to take a look at some of this one. This particular one is the Balance Scent, which I do find totally good for guys. It's very like tree-like, and um, it's from the grounding blend. And so uh, also the fact that it has benefits for the emotions and mood. Balance is really well known for handling, you know, for keeping things even keel. So if you have a kid who's also a little on the, you know, more prone to have little outbursts or things like that, or, or be upset kind of easily, balance is a really um, a great thing to put on them. So in the form of deodorant is, is fantastic. Have to put a plug in for the Terra Shield. This was another one that I enjoyed passing around because um, the kiddos, you know, they, I had told them that it was to keep the bugs away, mosquitoes and things like that. And that was just as simple as being able to put some on a couple points on your body and, uh, and once it would um, get into your whole blood system and uh, make your whole body uh, a walking like mosquito repellent kind of a thing. Um, that number one was fun, but uh, number two, um, they all said that it didn't smell like bug spray. And I thought that was really interesting as well, because I do, I, I've had several people tell me they think it smells like a vanilla sugar cookies. It definitely has a vanilla kind of um, afternote. It's not citronella-y, which is um, kind of nice, I think. Okay, I think those are my, um, my big ones for, for that. Uh, did I forget any? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the correct X, but um, I actually didn't bring that in here right now, so I can't show you, but it's very similar to like a Neosporin or something like that, um, except that it has helichrysum in it, and so it's not only amazing for being able to, um, you know, keep, uh, you know, boo-boos that are under band-aids and things like that to keep it clean but it also helps the scarring to uh to not be severe and the healing just you know really really helps quite a bit um the on guard sanitizing mist i actually showed you that in advance sorry so there's a little plug for that um uh it does kill 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria um but thankfully it is not as um uh, you know, lethal <laughs> as some of the other things that are on there. <laughs> All right, um, moving on to the, the, I guess what I would say is like one of the more fun portions of, of this one. This is, this is where 
um, kids really start to feel empowered when they can start uh, kind of knowing and understanding what these six fantastic kids collection oils are. So these were especially made for not only the um, bodies, but also minds and emotions of kids. And I really like that it's like therapeutically balanced to give some really powerful benefits, but they are already diluted. So you don't really have to worry about um, delicate skin in this case. And uh, one of my um, other favorite things is that they do come with the um, uh, kid-centric um, flashcards so that they can um, take a look and see like, you know, like what, what's the, I think, what it was that everybody started with last time? I think one of the first things that they had told me was that um, one of their worries was that they would get scared. And so the Brave blend was really great. And it says, um, before new or different situations or just to start your day, roll Brave onto your tummy or the bottoms of your feet for a boost of courage and confidence. And so in the live class, and of course, if your child were here with me, I would like to um, let them take some of the Brave give it a nice smell and then rub it right, I say right above the belly button. So they would do that and then they'd pass it on to their friend. And um, uh, I asked them, you know, like what kind of situations they would feel comfortable um, uh, using that in, they said, you know, before they have to um, give a, um, a speech. Um, and then one kid said before they go to bed at night, which led us to the next one, which was um, calmer and that one is called the restful blend um, when it's bedtime roll calmer onto the bottoms of your feet and onto your wrists climb into bed and take a deep breath to let your mind rest so I let everyone um, put some calmer onto their wrists like this and uh, show them the example as they pass it around of being able to lay on your pillow and keep it right there next to their wrist and, uh, and breathe deeply. And um, two of the kids who were there had actually tried it before and mentioned that that's what they ask for if they're, if they're awake for a long time, that they'll go to their mom and ask them um, for a calmer for something or just lavender or something like that to help them sleep. Um, also, we had, let's see. Gotta go through here. Okay, so we did um, we did calmer. Um, so that one is uh, has lavender, kananga, Buddha wood oil, rum, and chamomile, and um, really good to put you know around the same time that you're putting on your jammies and brushing teeth and stuff like that. That's a really good time to go ahead and put some of that on. The brave is awesome, um, which I had showed you guys before. And this one probably mostly on like right on your tummy is is a good way to do that. I feel like it has a little bit of a cinnamony smell, which I think is pretty nice. The other thing that people talked about was um, was to be able to to focus if you know when they're feeling very nervous about you know tests that they may have to take at school. Um, the thinkers are really nice one. Um, it has uh, it surprisingly has vetiver in it, which is a uh, not a super good smelling oil in my personal opinion, but it has uh, some very, very cool um, focus properties. Uh, and so a lot of kids who struggle and maybe even be, you know, taking pills to help them be able to focus and not get distracted by things very easily um, are going to benefit from that too. Uh, but I would say that one of the dominant smells when you take a whiff of it is not so much the vetiver, but the peppermint. Uh, clementine and rosemary are also in this blend as well. Um, okay, and I just on this note, does anybody know why the boy ate his homework? Why would a boy eat his homework? I know I do all these corny jokes. The teacher said it was a piece of cake. So of course he was going to eat it, right? Okay, fun, fun. Okay, so Stronger is the next one. And Stronger is similar to On Guard in that Stronger um, has an amazing ability to boost the immune system. So um, you can 
just like just when kids aren't even feeling well, it's not too strong that you can't just like let them, yeah, okay, you're not feeling good, go ahead and put some stronger on, which is really great. But when they really are, like you can kind of see those lymph nodes are becoming a little bit larger, or when you see like they're kind of looking a little pale, or you can see something going on, like just you know your kid and you know when they're not doing very well. This is really nice to be able to have um, right there ready for them and for to give them the choice to be able to do it. I like uh, with this one, the, the kid-centric flashcard says, use stronger on the back of your neck or bottoms of your feet for an added boost or protection when you're not feeling your best. So that's definitely, so I, I think I had them put just on the back of their neck when they were in the class. Um, I, I'm always surprised by this, so I have to mention it again. Many of you guys know that there are certain essential oils that are fairly cheap and some that are really, really expensive. This particular blend, Stronger, happens to have two of the most expensive oils in it. So it's cedarwood, litsia, and the uh, third ingredient is frankincense. And the fourth ingredient is rose. So I would say this the dominant smell is nothing like clove. It's nothing cinnamony or rosemary or whatever. It's, it's definitely the rose is what I smell when I um, put stronger on my kids. And uh, that is a very high vibration oil and um, definitely has a very strong impact, especially on their sweet little, you know, sensitive immune systems. It's a, it's a heavy hitting one. Okay, how about this one, guys? Um, so if you, um, <laughs> when I was in a class, this came up too. Uh, anybody who has trouble with feeling angry and not really knowing what to do to help themselves calm down is really going to like steady. So when I pass this around, um, you notice there is, there's a little um, heart shape you know, thing right here. And that's because um, this is one of the ones that deals with the emotions for um, for kiddos. So we had two that were, okay, we had um, stronger was for the body. Brave, you know, has another, you know, for emotions. Um, calmer uh, has this um, brain looking thing because it, it, that's, that's the area that it helps for our minds. Uh, calmer and thinker do that. Um, but so this one is steady. It's the other one that helps us with our emotions. So if we're feeling nervous or maybe have a little bit of, you know, anxious feelings, um, this is going to help us feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, this is very similar to balance essential oil. And um, when, when we take a look at the card, the card tells us for those times when you feel nervous or anxious, rub steady on your neck and wrists to calm and comfort your emotions. So this one, uh, uh, amorous is the first ingredient, balsam fir, coriander, and magnolia. So when I smell this, I actually smell magnolia, but there's enough fir in it that it seems like um, a very well-rounded, it's, it's not super floral, you know, which I know can be off-putting to some boys, but this one I think is still, it's, um, it's, it's a very pleasant scent. Highly recommend it. Um, and then... Um, Rescuer is the last one here, the one that's um, I, very similar to um, Deep Blue Rub. And the, the first ingredient in it is Copaiba, which if you guys haven't heard me um, talk very much about that, I have some stories to tell you about um, how it really helps pain quite a bit. Uh, lavender, spearmint, um, and xanthoxylum is the other three ingredients in here. So typically, um, kiddos are told for this one to go ahead and see. After running, jumping, and playing, rub rescue onto your leg speed and back to soothe your active body. So this one's really nice for um, for them to be able to have. Like I, I like to to keep some of these, you know, just in the kitchen. Um, the, in a central place in my home. That way I'm always, um, you know, like if, if they ask me about being able to, uh, if they have, a, you know, growing pains or things like that, um, I can point them to one place for them to be able to go and choose what they need. It's also amazing when you're talking about uh, so it's, it's surprising when you, you start, especially my nine-year-old, um, when she's ready to calm down, 
uh, she knows which one to reach for versus um, if we're getting ready to do some schoolwork um, together and we're sitting out at the table and, you know, she's like, oh, I think I need to put some thinker on. I just, you know, I'm not sure about, about any of this. So um, she likes to have those tools ready for her and I like to have them available for her. So also when it goes into, um, you know, kiddos and, and having them, you know, with total health, um, I love these, um, these two combos plus the next one that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But um, <laughs> if you guys will allow me a, uh, a quick joke, um, knock, knock, and you guys say, who's there? And I say, orange, and you say, orange who? And I'm like, aren't you going to answer the door? I'm knocking. So that one got a couple laughs when I was in the thing. Um, but wild orange, which I also had mentioned about before, uh, orange goes into a lot of these um, uh, so like you'll notice here, the IQ Mega, uh, they, they add wild orange to it, not only because it covers up the taste of the fish smell, because these are, um, you know, omega-3s, um, but this is, I mean, we all know that the DHA and EPA that needs, that, that everybody needs for brain health, um, well, as well as, you know, heart health and immunity and joint and all that kind of stuff, um, we know everybody needs it, but uh, nobody really likes to burp up that fishy thing. And so to be able to have a little bit of um, wild orange does help it go down a lot easier. <laughs> so that's really awesome. Um, also, uh, it, during the class, we passed around some of these sweet little um, vitamins. They have the little smiley faces on, which you can't actually see here, but that's another really fun one. My kids have always enjoyed circle vitamins. Um, and I do actually know one adult who is um, who has problems taking um, uh, pills, you know, with just with water or something like that. Um, but but was able to check the ingredients on the A to Z chewables, and uh, quite quite high in all the things that um, that they would want. And so they just have two of them per day because they are um, a grown up. So definitely um, keep that in the back of your mind if you guys are, you know, into um, having your kiddos have enough, you know, vitamin B and A and C and vitamin E even as well. Uh, and being able to also have it with no high fructose corn syrup the way some of the gummies are today. And a lot of them have like other sweeteners and artificial flavors and stuff. So the other thing that I have to tell you guys when we're talking about sweeteners, um, there's, there's so many probiotics um, today that everybody's, you know, like uh, if you go to the, the store, everybody's like, oh yeah, this is this yogurt and it's so good to give your kids some probiotics. And so we want, we want to do that. But unfortunately, it really seems like um, there's so much more sugar in those probiotics. And we know that sugar disrupts gut flora. And so I, I hate that there's really not a good choice to like easily give kiddos until Maybe it says junior. Um, this one is really awesome. I, and I, I would, I would encourage you guys to go ahead and you know Google or like a, a YouTube about this because it's surprising. Um, they uh, DoTerra had to specifically develop some technology to be able to include five billion live cells. Um, of six different blends of probiotic strains so that they can, you know, get them in this easy, um, you know, like powder form. So uh, you can put it in a drink and you can um, sprinkle it on top of, you know, oatmeal or something like that. But um, I would say I have never, ever had any of my kids give me a hard time about using it pixie stick style. So uh, I, during the class, we did this as well. Um, I got some spoons for, for people and we put some in each thing and each kid got to have a spoon. It tastes like a spoonful of sugar. It's xylitol um, is, is the very outer coating, which is not degrading for the teeth. It's very, you know, it's, it's good for oral health. Um, and, but it doesn't actually taste super, super sweet. It's sweet enough that they enjoy it and they'll just, you know, like, you know, down it or like my daughter, she likes to nurse it through for like 10 minutes. You know, I, I keep finding her like doing this ADB little like thing. Anyway, it's her, her thing. Anyway, not difficult to give your kids the probiotics. Now uh, I'll tell you a little secret about these. I know that they work because if my kids have more than one, they end up having a little bit of a flushing action happen. 
which is what happens when all of us get, you know, um, more good bacteria than our, uh, than our bodies can handle at one particular time as well. So I know it's doing really good things. And in general, even like if my kids are sick with, um, you know, a, a headache and, uh, you know, anything like that, I start to think about what their gut flora is like. And this is a really nice thing to be able to reach for. Um, 20 comes in a box and um, they end up being, you know, a, a, I think it's like less than, I want to say that like, yeah, it's less than a dollar each. Um, so I find it very doable um, and um, so, so easy to get my kiddos to, um, to, to, eat them. Okay, back to a couple other things I have for you. All right, so that was that. Um, I also thought I'd go ahead and mention too the fact that you guys, oh, actually, <laughs> before I go, what is, uh, what do you call a sad strawberry? This one got everybody at the thing. I actually got, I got, I got somebody to answer me the, the right thing. What do you call a sad strawberry? A blueberry. Oh, he's with that. He's blue. Um, have to mention that one. And then also, um, speaking of food and berries and stuff like that, you should also um, know that we have really enjoyed our um, essential oils in edible form. We love to infuse grapes with some of the wild orange and um, essential oils like that. We love apples, uh, like to slice them and put them in a bowl with some water and put some on guard. And we're talking just like two or three, maybe four drops of essential oil. Um, and uh, it really gives them a delightful flavor that, especially if you have picky kids, it's really easy to get them to, to eat that. Um, and then also when you're looking at being able to uh, have them start learning how to make good food, um, uh, oatmeal, like I've taught my daughter how to make oatmeal and she makes it for the whole family now. It's really interesting to her to be able to put just a drop of wild orange or maybe cassia or cinnamon or something like that in there. Um, she also, uh, she'll go ahead and put a few drops of lemon into hummus and it perks up the flavor enough that even if she doesn't, like in her case, she doesn't super love hummus, but she does like veggies and sometimes it's nice to have something to put on them. She does like it more with hummus or with the lemon essential oil in there. Okay, so um, I would say like the next thing that we did for our for our sweet little workshop was to go ahead and give um, give everybody some time to make a um, uh, a room spray. And so I'm going to walk you guys through being able to do that. Um, that just looks. Let me show my chair here. That just looks like being able to find uh, an empty um, glass bottle. Yes, it should be glass, but uh, if, if you're in a pinch, you can go ahead and uh, just use something plastic if you have to. Uh, part of it depends on if you're putting um, something in there that you're going to be ingesting. That's when you really have to be careful, which in this case, we're just making room sprays. So um, they're not going to be going in kids' mouth. So, um, for the workshop, I went ahead and, and uh, put, put up a few recipes. We have the Scary Stuff Away spray, and I would say the majority of kiddos end up making that one. We also have a Wake Up Right spray and a Sleep Sweetly spray. So the Scary Stuff Away spray was um, super fun. They had, um, hi. so yeah, the way I described it was uh, if, you know, if you ever kind of you're in bed and you think you might have heard something, it's nice to be able to have something that you can kind of squirt in that general direction um, or you know, under the bed or in the closet or wherever because you know that there is On Guard, which is the protective blend. And uh, so you know that's gonna do something protecting against anything that might be making that noise. And then also um, some balance. So it's two drops on guard, two drops balance, and balance is the grounding blend. And so you know if, if it's flying high like a tree or way down low with deep roots, whatever's kind of creepy around, um, that, that grounding blend is going to help settle it. And then we also did one drop of lavender because monsters do not like flowers. So you know you're going to be all set with that. So really in the whole two ounce bottle, we're only putting um, five drops of the pure essential oil. 
and I was um, teaching everybody how to do some witch hazel to be able to get this as a um, just to be able to, to stay you know uh, in the air a little longer and help the help the shaking action to, to help things blend better. So in this size valve, you need to about a tablespoon of witch hazel. Um, you can also use rubbing alcohol, but I think witch hazel goes a little bit better. And uh, so when you have a little bit of that, and then you do, um, you know, for the, for the scary step away spray, you did that, actually I'll talk you guys through the, the wake up right spray. And that one's the one that I had, uh, <laughs> I had a couple moms encouraging their kids to do the wake up right spray and the kids being like, I don't want to know how to make the make wake up right spray. I like being able to sleep, you know, so um, uh, two drops peppermint, two drops wild orange and one drop balance are a really great way to help kiddos get out of bed and uh, get on their way, you know, uh, getting to school um, without feeling super groggy and things like that. It's nice to have a little something extra. And also um, the Sleep Sweetly Spray, which really does become empowering when you, like as you're putting jammies on or whatever, uh, just to kind of set the mood. So it's three drops lavender, one drop balance, and one drop wild orange. So there's only five, um, five drops in the two ounce bottle. So you can see this is not wasteful at all. It's the kind of thing that you can definitely, um, you know, make again and again and not feel, feel bad because it is helping kiddos. Uh, so after that point, you're just going to, um, so it has just very little um, witch hazel, a few drops of essential oil, and the rest is just distilled water. And if you don't have distilled, you can use the, um, tap water just from your sink. The only thing you have to remember then is that uh, we have um, a, uh, a chance of getting some bacteria if the tap water is a, is a bit dirty. So if you're going to let it go for, you know, six months or something like that, you may come around and find that it's not smelling quite right anymore. Um, Okay, so we had everybody make that, and uh, everyone seemed to enjoy, you know, we, we got uh, the, um, the stickers and the, the other, um, you know, labels and things like that to decorate, and uh, everyone really enjoyed being able to, to go home with that. Um, I would say, so you guys may be also wondering um, how to get started with essential oils for you, specifically some of the things I mentioned that maybe you didn't know existed for kiddos, um, that, you know, in terms of how to help them, um, uh, you know, especially for like mind and body and their heart uh, and emotions. Um, so these are definitely available. I would like to be able to help you learn uh, what is the right fit for your family, depending on their specific needs. If you need to start off slow and get just a couple, or if you're ready to do the overhaul and consider what do I need um, to get my family started right for the school year. I'm happy to help you. If there was another person who introduced you to doTERRA and you um, can, you know, just check back with them to be able to figure out how to get started, that's the best thing in general. You're going to look at one of three options. One is you can buy retail. Um, that means any of the wellness advocates who might have invited you or if that's me, I can help you buy like one single thing at full retail price. I never suggest that to any of my actual friends, though, because, yeah, once you understand that 98% um, uh, of the people who do doTERRA, go ahead and get their own account. It's cheap. It's $35 um, uh, for a, a one-year thing, but that rolls into all the other next years, too. Um, you're just buying one, one thing of peppermint to have that continue. And... Um, What's nice about doing that is uh, that you then become the empowered one, and that's what a big deal that I feel like uh, these days is is big because there's a lot of medical issues out there that we uh, can't control, and they're getting trickier to navigate with insurance and whatnot like that. So if um, if 80% of your health concerns are taken care of because you have the tools in your home that you need, that's going to be what you want. Uh, and definitely, you know, keep that good relationship with your healthcare practitioner for the other 20% that is, you know, um, needs to be in that realm. Um, 
So, so getting started with a kit is a really awesome way just to get like some basic 10, you know, tools in your home. Um, and then uh, that also makes the $35 membership fee get waived. So that seems like a really, really awesome choice. But any questions you guys have uh, about how to do that, check with the person who invited you to, to this webinar. And um, if uh, I have um, I've yet to see any questions, but I know there are a couple people who are on now. And so if there's something that comes up, I'd like to answer that. Um, otherwise, we'll go ahead and jump off and hopefully I'll be able to connect with a couple of people that I um, invited in person. I'm not seeing anything in the chat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and say goodbye. Hope you guys wish you happy, happy oiling. And um, I'm trying to think of what my last one. Um, oh, yeah, I remember. All right, my daughter's favorite. What do you call? Uh, no, what do you do to help a sick lemon? What do you do to help a sick lemon? You give it lemonade. I know. It's funny. Lemonade. Get it? Lemonade. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Bye. <laughs>